No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. More than 50 people marched to the Augusta County Courthouse Thursday to rally in support for breaking through news reporter Theodore Whitelow. The group rallied on the steps of the courthouse calling for justice. Across the street, inside the Augusta County District Court building, Whitelow went before the Honorable Judge Rupin Shaw to face an obstruction of justice charge. The charge stemmed from an encounter at Whitelow's home on June 9th when he refused to allow Augusta County Sheriff's deputies to interview his 13-year-old son outside of his presence. The judge uh, made, made a deferred ruling uh, saying that he found sufficient evidence for an arrest, but he didn't. He was not convicting me of a crime today. He said the only time that I really, uh, according to him, uh, could have committed obstruction was when I told the, my wife that she didn't have to show officers her ID. Not that I stopped her from showing them their ID, but just telling her, you don't have to do that as, as a citizen of the United States. And when I told the police, uh, get off my property or get a warrant, he said that those were uh, possible obstruction of justice. President and CEO of Nexus Services, Michael Donovan, was among the supporters. Donovan says the White Low case is just the tip of the iceberg of alleged corruption in Augusta County. Well, unfortunately, this case can't be appealed, but there are many, many cases uh, of police misconduct in Augusta County. They have to be investigated. And the misconduct at the sheriff's office level, the misconduct of the sheriff, his inappropriate relationships with criminal defendants and human traffickers. At some point, the people of Augusta County need to demand the truth, and we need to end corruption in the sheriff's office. We need to eliminate law enforcement officers who, um, who believe that they are above the law. Whitelow says it was the judge's comments that left him uneasy about the ruling. He pointed back to the back of the room and mentioned how all the officers were there. Actually, uh, the sheriff of, Rock of Augusta County was in the courtroom for a misdemeanor charge. The Commonwealth's attorney, uh, Tim Martin, was in the courtroom. Almost all, a uh, couple Commonwealth's attorneys were in there. I mean, the courtroom was packed, and they had over 10 officers in the courtroom uh, for, for a misdemeanor charge. We're not talking about a felony. We're not talking about a murder charge. The only time that I've ever seen that many cops in a courtroom is for a murder trial, a major felony. This was uh, something... Uh, I've never seen nothing like that. This was the good old boy system that we have here in Augusta County. And, and this judge, if all those cops weren't in there, it seemed like there was an obligation of the, by the judge to please law enforcement. He even mentioned it when he's telling me his deferred ruling. You have all these cops here. You have all these law enforcement officers here in this courtroom. Look at how many officers are here because of, of what, you, what you have done or what you are accused of doing. One of Donovan's slogans for Nexus Incorporated is when you're right, you fight. I think Nexus has been a watchdog in the Shenandoah Valley for years. This case is, an, is a dangerous precedent for a, a, a way to uh, harm a criminal defendant without giving them rights of due process. This case is a bad, it's a bad law, and we need to make sure that there's a legislative fix to ensure that individuals have a right to appeal these types of rulings. Vice President of Support Services for Nexus Incorporated, Timothy Scheib says they're rallying for everyone who's ever been a victim of injustice. It's important to Nexus to stand up for the inherent worth and dignity of all people, no matter your makeup, no matter where you come from, no matter what country you're from, no matter what color the skin that you have you're important and you have rights and those rights should be protected at all costs and so when things in our community happen we're not going to shy away from it we're going to speak to it because speaking truth to power is important and making sure that our voices are heard are even more important and if you want true change in your community you have to stand up and you have to speak out it doesn't always make you the most popular person but it does make you on the right side of history and that's what it's really all about Lori russell is a parent who was passing by the rally when she learned about the White Low case. She voiced her concerns about violating young people. I'm totally disgusted that th things like this, this happen. I, I think I would just be so this floored if something like this happened to my son or daughter or any youth without a parent present, and that's what I understand happened. I hope this father gets justice today. He deserves it. Everybody deserves justice. And things like this should not happen. I wanted a not guilty verdict today. I wanted to be free of everything. Uh, that did not happen, and sometimes those things happen in the legal system. Uh, but, but to be honest, uh, I, I can live with this. I mean, it's, it's not 
It's not what we wanted, but at the end of the day, uh, we see what we were up against. I'm grateful for Nexus. They came out to support me. I know the Rise organization came out to support me. Uh, the Resistance Company is over there singing for me. They came all the way down from New York to come out and support me uh, against this uh, injustice and unjust legal system that is known here in Augusta County that I've been fighting against and will continue to fight against. Just because uh, there's a setback today in court doesn't mean I'm going to stop fighting. In Stanton, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.